ディズニー・ザ・ライオン・キング・トゥー・シンバーズ・プライド。There was much to celebrate at Pride Rock. The evil score was gone. The Pride lands were at peace. The spirit of good King Mufasa looked down upon the happy kingdom as old Dora Fiki. The baboon presented the newborn cub of King Simba and Queen Nala to the cheering animals below. Pumba and Timon were excited about the fun they were going to have with the new cub. I'm telling you, buddy, it's gonna be like old times. You, me, and a little guy. But Old Rafiki knew they were not quite correct. It is a girl. Pumba and Timon looked over at cute little Kiara. Girl? They both fainted. As Kiara grew older, she wanted to explore the pride runs. But Simba always warned her and stay away from the outlands. Kiara jumped into the tall grass. She ran. Farther and farther away from Pride Rock, and soon she came to a swampy river with a fallen tree. Crossing the river, Kiara met another lion cab. The two cabs hopped from log to log, staring at each other. Who are you, Pride Rounder? Before Kiara could answer, the log below them. Moved. It wasn't a log after all. Cove and Kiara were standing on a crocodile. As the hungry beast snapped at them, the two cabs scrambled to what they thought was a small island. Cove sighed with relief. That was a close one. Yeah, but this island moved too. It was a group of crocodiles. Kiara jumped to safety in a tree cove, leapt from croc to croc until he ran out of crocs. Then, just as a huge reptile was about to sink its sharp teeth into cove, Kiara jumped on its head, shunting its powerful jaws. I did it! I did it! Kiara was very excited. He just totally ate me up right there, and I jumped on his head, and I bopped him so good. We make such a good team, and you, you were really brave. Yeah, you were pretty brave too. My name is Kovu. I'm Kiara. Tag, you are it. The two caps laughed and played, but nearby, Zira was listening and sneering. She left in front of Kovu. At the same time, Shimba seemed to spring out of nowhere to protect Kiara. He faced the snaring lioness. I banished you from the pride of lands. Now you and your young cab get out. These lands belong to Scar. Take him and get out. We are finished here. Oh no, Shimba, we have barely begun. Zira grabbed Kovu and slinked away. Shimba was upset that Kiara had disobeyed him. One day I won't be here, and I need you to carry on in my place. You are part of the great circle of. Circle of life, I know. Kiara had heard these words many times before. Exactly, and you need to be careful. As a future queen. What if I don't want to be queen? It's no fun. That's like saying you don't want to be a lion. It's your blood. As I am, we are part of each other. As long as you live here, it's who you are. You'll understand someday. The years flew by like leaves in the wind. Kovu grew larger and stronger, but suddenly, Zira filled his heart with hate. The once, king, once kind cub was trained to be hard and cruel. 
I will avenge Scar, take his place in the Pride of Lands. Yes, what have I told you? Simba is the enemy. And what must you do? I must kill him. They planned to have Kobu be befriend Kiara so he could sneak up on Simba. Over the years, Kiara had also grown up. It was time for the brave young lioness to go off on her first hand. Simba asked Timon and Pumbaa to follow and make sure she was safe. Kiara tried to stalk a herd of antelope, but she made too much noise. The herd scampered off. Zia's cubs, Nuke, Nuka, and Vitami watched from a distance. The two lions were eager to carry out Zia's evil plan. Nuka waved a flaming branch as they both ran down a hill. He lit a patch of dry grass. Roasty, toasty princess, roasty, toasty princess. High on the hill, Zira smiled as she and Kovu watched the grass burst into frame. The plan in is in motion. Go, Kovu dashed into the fire. Deadly smoke choked Kiara, but just before she fainted, Kovu picked her up and carried her to safety. When Simba learned what Kobu had done, he was suspicious. You saved her? Why? I humbly ask to join your pride. Simba was unsure. For now, I reserve judgment. We'll see who you really are. Kiara was grateful to Kobu for saving her life. Kobu offered to teach her how to be a better hunter. All right, impress me. We start at dawn. The sun was peeking over the bridal lands as Kovu took Kiara for her hunting lesson. She watched the master and the lamb. Kovu was about to pounce on his prey when Kiara heard a familiar voice. Ah, don't eat me, please. Timo, what are you doing here? This just happens to be the best sumo gas board in the bridal lands. Bags everywhere. But poor Timon, a flock of birds swooped down over his breakfast. Go on, shoo shoo! Pumba looked at Kobu and had an idea. Hey, maybe he could help. Kobu roared a mighty roar, and the birds flew away. Timon, Pumba, and Kiara chased them, but Kobu was confused. Why are we doing this? What's the point of this training? Training? This is just for fun. Across the bright lands, the crazy group charged after the birds. Even Kobu was enjoying himself. Yeehaw! The clever birds flew into a can can canyon. When Kiara, Kobu, Timon, and Pumba followed, they found themselves face to face with a crash of Reno. It wasn't long before the four of them ran out with the whole crush at their heels. They squeezed into a crevice in a large boulder just as the rhinos thundered past the little group. Safe within the tiny nook, Kiara, Timon, Pumba, and Kavu laughed with relief. Kavu couldn't believe how much fun he was having. What a blast! Timon gave Kobu a friendly hug. You are okay, Kay? He and Pumba began to wiggle out of the tight space. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. That's it, that's it, that's it. But as they did so, Kira and Kobu were pushed close together, close enough to kiss. Kira blushed as she and Kobu squeezed out of the crevice. The next morning, Kobu practiced, telling Kiara the truth. Kiara, Zira had a plot, and I was part of it. But I don't want to be, because it's, it's because I love you. But before Kobu could talk to Kiara, Shimba invited him for a walk. Shimba explained the truth about Scar. 
scar couldn't let go of his head, and in the end, it destroyed him. Kobu understood. He truly was a killer. Shinba looked around. The burst, burnt forest. Fire is a killer. He found a tiny green sprout growing among the ashes. Sometimes what's left behind can grow better than the generation before, if given the chance. All of a sudden, Simba was surrounded by a vicious band of lioness led by Zira. Well done, Kovu, just like we always planned. Kovu tried to stop the attack. No, I didn't have anything to do with this. But it was too late. Sharp teeth and claws ranged at Simba from all directions. Simba's only escape was up the face of a cliff. Zira screamed to her son. Get him, Kobu, get him, do it now. But Kobu didn't respond. Simba made it up the cliff and just in time. Kobu ran to Zira's side. I didn't mean to. It wasn't my fault. I did nothing. Exactly. And in doing so, you betrayed your pride. Betrayed Scar. I want nothing more to do with him. You cannot escape it. Nuka is dead because of you. You've killed your own brother. No! Kobu returned to the Pride Lands, but Shimba would not forgive him. When you first came here, you asked for judgment, and I pass it now. Exile. Kobu left the Pride Lands in disgrace, but Kiara still believed in him. Father, please reconsider. You don't know him. I know he is following in Scar's power prints, and I must follow in my father's. You will never be Mufasa, Kiara ran from her father in tears. That rainy night, Simba's friend Zazu braved the storm to deliver an urgent message. Sir, the outsiders are on the attack. It's war. Simba's pride soon faced Zira's war warriors at each end of Antelope Gorge. This was the moment Zira had been waiting for. It's over, Simba. I have dreamed of nothing else for years. Attack! A terrible battle, lit only by lightning, began to rage in the pounding rain. Zira saw her chance to attack Simba herself. Simba, you are mine. The other lions watched as Zira and Simba fought bitter, bitter, bitterly. Then out of the darkness came Kovu and Kiara. Daddy, this has to stop. Zira growled at her son. Get out of the way. You'll never hurt Kiara or Simba. Not while I am here. Kiara crept closer to her father. A wise king once told me, We are one. I didn't understand him then. Now I do. Let it go, Zira. It's time to put the past behind us. I'll never let it go. Zira left at Simba, but Kiara jumped in her way. The two lionesses went tumbling down until the gorge, just as the log jam at the mouth of the gorge gave way to the rushing river. Zira dangled over the edge of a rock. Kiara reached out her paw. Zira, come on, I'll help you. But Zira slipped away and was lost forever in the churning rapids. After the battle had passed, everyone gathered at Pride of Rock. Shinba and Nara, Kiara and Kobu, all the former outsiders, and the rest of Shinba's pride completed the circle of friendship. Nearby, Timon, Pumba, and Zazu watched the ceremony. Pumba cried, I love moments like this. The mighty lions roared as hundreds of other animals shared their joy. Above it all, Mufasa looked down upon them, especially at his beloved Simba. 
Well done, my son. We are one.